Okay, so you guys have made it this far into the video. I'm just going to recap everything that we've done. And uh, just remember that this, you can actually take it and practice it almost for months endlessly. And it'll actually give you a lot to work on. So going back to the top, we have our hits. So just the tense and relax in the arms and then also in the chest. So we can start here and then bring the arms out or whichever way. Then also we had hitting the legs, that tense and relax. Boom, boom, with the arms and chest. So we had our full hits. Then we had our Fresno, which we can also use with the full hits. And then we had working on angles in the different positions. Boom, going straight out, freestyling them. We also had our 90 degree positions that we're hitting. So just drill those, and that'll actually help you to advance a lot more. Then we also had footwork moving around. So we had stepping forward and back on each side. You can step back. We had stepping out to the sides. And we also had that crossover step. So you can actually work on hitting. Boom, say if you're hitting angles, you can even go back and forth. And then you can step, boom, 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 and just keep hitting those back and forth. So you can find ways to actually put those together. We also had our pivots. So we had the heel toe, working those, and then pivoting out to the sides and stepping. And we had our waving, so basic arm wave, side to side. So there's the smooth version, Right, there's the isolated version, and there's using the two together. Then we also had the tidal wave, so bring it all the way down the body and back up. And say we can take a pivot, step, and then you have that tidal wave again. Right? And then we also had dime stopping, so just those sudden stops in your movement. Boom. I didn't really go over the body, because that'll be for another lesson, for robot. But just stopping in the arms, boom, 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 boom. And using that to help clean up any movements that you do, any angles that you hit, that dime stop will help make it nice and sharp. So in terms of threading everything together that we've learned here, so again, we had our friends know we can start there as a basis. So like when you come out to dance, you can actually go, say take a couple steps, boom, and you can hit a Fresno, and then start hitting some angles, and then from there, as you're hitting the angles, you can start taking steps, boom, pivot, hit, back, boom, or say take a step or two, and then do a wave, boom, wave it again, you can take some steps back, so then you can actually mix everything together, it's just complete mix and match. There's no actual order that you have to do everything. And you can just have fun with it. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate a little bit of that to music. And we'll call it a day. So you guys got through the first lesson. I want to thank you for your time, your patience with my teaching style. Hopefully it was easy. And I um, just want you to know you can contact me in any of a variety of forms. You can contact me through the website directly. That'll email me. I have Twitter, twitter.com slash learn to pop. I'm also on Facebook with a Facebook fan page. 
All those links are available on the website and that information will be here in the video also. And I just hope you have fun and continue popping. And I can't wait to make the next video. That's all gonna be based on your guys' feedback. If you wanna see more from me, if you're happy with the results that you get, just let me know. So I can go ahead and continue uh, creating these videos and we can build together. Uh, we'll build, you know, we'll talk about more styles, go over more techniques, and we'll make it a lot more advanced. So thank you.